to this edition of Car and Driver. I'm Jim Scouton, and this is the King Snake. This bad boy from TNT Motorsports may look pretty stock to you, but it isn't. Would you believe 777 horses? It is, without question, the fastest Viper we have ever tested. <laughs> Other than the flawless gunmetal gray paint, at first glance you could take the King Snake for a stock Viper. There are no trick carbon fiber body panels, no custom arrow pieces, and you'd easily take Roy Terpstra for a hired hand mechanic. But he and Brother Joe are the tuners of this beast that is about to demonstrate just how successful their work has been. And with Roy pulling the gears, nobody within a mile is still thinking stock Viper, with the radar gun waiting to report the results on Bridgestone's high-speed oval. We've got 206 Yeah, 2059. Make that the warm-up at 205.9 miles per hour. But Roy's got more for us once we move the radar gun closer to his terminal velocity at the end of the straight. That and the onboard GPS speed pilot averaged to 208 miles per hour, the fastest Viper ever to run in car and driver testing. Made all the more remarkable by the stock body. No trick splitter, no wings, just some additional louvers in the hood to help the 200 mile per hour wind get out. We kind of borrowed some of that styling technique from the factory uh, GTSR race cars uh, that use something pretty similar to that. But it's an all stock body, stock panel, no carbon fiber, uh, uh, real street car. In fact, this King Snake is Roy's daily driver, and he likes the three inch exhaust system with the high flow mufflers and likes the exhaust note. But TNT does offer tunable mufflers, along with gobs and gobs of power from the overachieving V10 that's been hot rotted to ballistic missile performance. It's been bored, stroked, uh, to 520 inches. Uh, a lot of the extensive head work, uh, camshaft, uh, really your basic, uh, basic stuff that you do to just about any production type engine. Basic stuff like a tunable billet intake with velocity stacks, roller valve train, billet rods, high compression pistons, free flow heads, tube headers. It adds up to 777 horses and 703 pound feet of torque. Hooked up, that's good for the quickest Viper numbers in our record book. 3.6 seconds to 60, 7.2 seconds to 100, and a quarter of 11.4 at 131 miles per hour. The rest of the Kingsnake package is Penske triple adjustable coilover shocks and TNT six piston calipers grabbing 14 inch discs up front. But doing more grabbing than the Michelins could handle, Roy's still working on the brake adjustments. Inside, it's a touch of carbon fiber trim for the gauges and console, and custom gray leather and five-point belts for the bucket seats. Then finish the look with custom billet wheels. And you'll only need a new set of Michelins about once a week. And Roy and Brother Joe will be happy to build one for you, just the way you want it, as long as it's fast. From a high-performance base price of 115,000, including a new Viper, that will be a whole nother snake when they're done. You know, we say the same thing every time we test a tuner car, that adding 40,000 in options to the price of a Viper is not a proposition everybody can afford. But at 115,000 total, the Kingsnake is something of a bargain, priced well under the competition. The competition that isn't the big dog anymore. 